Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Shopping Time was a game I kind of bought at a lark one time and it sat on these shelves for many, many years. And then I finally pulled it out thinking maybe I'll play this. It'll probably be something I can get rid of and make some space on this shelf. Boy, was I wrong. This game is really, really neat. So it, it integrates an app, and it's one of the best app integrations I've seen because it has a timer, and you'll scan the cards to see. So basically, it's almost like Price is Light. You're going to have a number that you don't want to get over, but you're going to have items from different time periods. So maybe cereal, 1950s, uh, carrots in the 1970s, you know, etc. And you got to kind of draft these and keep the one that you want up into a certain amount. It might be getting $5.60. Like, how do you budget that out as what you're going? Then at the end, you just put it on the app. The app scans it. It tells you, like a cash register, how much you spent. And you want to be the highest, closest to the mark without going over, which is kind of like the price is right, right? Excellent, fun game. I mean, you can play this multi-generational because the kids today might know all the prices. They maybe don't know the prices from the 50s. And actually, like grandma or, or, or grandpa who I've played this with, with my children, so my kids, us, and their grandparents, and they were like, oh, they knew all the prices or thought they knew the prices from the old days, and the kids were kind of scratching their head. It was really, really funny. App integration, sound effects, and all that really go into this game. And this was a game I ended up liking a lot more than I thought I would. And this is a total hidden gem. This is a game, if this sounds interesting at all, you need to go out and get. And I wish there were like expansions for this. I wish there were like maybe like electronics or you know different kind of things that could be put into this because this game deserves better than the treatment us as board gamers have given. This is a really fun game. One I would tell you to go out and search out. I don't say that very often, but shopping time is definitely worth it. Keeper for us, never getting rid of this one. So you're in shopping time. You can't really attract a box. I mean, it tells you all over the box that this is an app-related game. So you should know that going in. But I really like the you know 50, 60 style of this. It looks really cool. You have a rule book, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes, and then you'll have really what comes in the game. You're gonna get a bunch of cards. Oh, you're gonna get cards that will be, you know, your player just tells you the color. And then what you're mostly gonna get are these goods or items. They'll tell you what year they are from, artichokes in 2005, and a little scanner code. Frozen Pizza 2006, uh, 87, uh, five and a quarter floppy, uh, 1933 motorized grinder, and these are just kind of what you have. You have these coupon codes, uh, which will give you extra points as the game goes on. And this just go right between you guys. That's so a restock. You really don't need these at all. Uh, the cards kind of have a, a, a flimsy feel to them, but they are actually very, very good. And they're actually... Uh, hold up fairly well. Each one has a number on it and a scanner, and they look great. Here's a rule book, which I think is very clear. It kind of comes out, it's got that, uh, that nostalgic feel to it, if you will. It tells you where to get the app, and a table of contents with the picture of the components. Fantastic. And then set up and start the app. I mean, really, it's that easy. You can kind of learn how to play this game as you go along, really. And this is all of the rules right here uh, that you need. The font's a little small, sure, but I think it all works out. You can kind of use the back of the box as a scanner. I think that's kind of neat of what they're going here for. You don't need to, but it's it actually works kind of well. Uh, some other game modes if you want to play through this kind of thing, and then other options in a strategy mode. I think the rule book works very, very good. Didn't have any issues. Once we started playing, it was very intuitive. So these are the coupons that you'll put out based on the number of players. Each person will get a person that they'll be, and these will be out. And you're going to have a number of cards in your hand. And they're going to tell you not to look at them before the game starts. You want to make sure that they're all centered up the same way. And it's going to be very easy you're going to, when it's time to go. And I'll show you how the app works in a second. Uh, you're going to pick one of these that you that you think that you want to keep. You'll put it uh, uh, face up or face down. And you'll hand these over to the next person. And then the person to your right will give you a new set of cards. And you'll pick another one. Now, in order to have a full set... You must have at least three items. Once you have three items, you could always add more by drafting more. But once you have three, you can cash in. First person done will take the coupon of the largest amount, and then those will go out as the game goes. So here's going to be the app. I don't know if it's going to show up real, real well, but it's very easy to utilize. So you play, and you'll put the number of players, and you'll add people in that you want and accept them in. And you can have quite a few players here that you have. And you can do the names and have them all be different. And then you'll kind of start the game up and begin the round. So this tells you what you're trying to get to. This is how much money. And this is either randomized or they have some kind of algorithm, but 2220. So when I'm drafting these, 
I want to get as close to 2220 without going after. So how much did Alaskan crab cost in 1978 for three pounds? Whiskey, a fifth of whiskey in 1940. And that's kind of what you'd be grinding. Frozen pizza in 2006, and you're trying to get as close to this as possible. Now, when you're drafting, once you have your card down, whoever has their card down first, compress this, and it counts down until the next person goes. And now you have to play and kind of keeps things moving. At the end of the round, it's going to be very simple. You're going to take your cards and you're kind of scan these in. It's as easy as this. And you will scan that in and then you will press check out. And then and at least your items to score any points. Uh, okay, so next person would go. Let's say yeah, they want to scan that one. They want to scan that one. They want to scan that one, and then you would check out. The next person can go, and they'll scan their items. And let's say they used four items instead of three, because you want to get as close to the amount without going over. So he'll check out, place his device so everybody can see it, as you can tell right here. And you press it, and it tells you everybody's what their prices was. Mary had 936, 833. Dorothy got 1384. Nobody went over, not even close. And you get a number of points based on that, and you set up the next round. It tells you what the current ranking is, and you go on and play another round until you play the number of rounds that you're going to play in the game. That's it. Very easy to play. It scans very easy. You can see it didn't have any problems with the app whatsoever. Excellent. Who should buy this game? This is a great multi-generational game. You could totally bring this out at a Christmas event or something like that where all the families got Thanksgiving. Hey, you guys, let's play this game. It plays really quick, really fun. You're drafting the cards up, and it's multi-generational. I even think the older people might like this better, seeing the name brands from their, their, from their heyday, right, and try to guess the prices on it. We had a blast with this one, and this is one I highly recommend to nearly anyone. You're wanting a gateway game? Shopping time is it. Check this one out. Does require an app, but it does so in a really, really fun way. Excellent use. Love this one. Keeper for sure.